Hey guys, uh, Fat Man here. Uh, as promised, I'm doing my uh, Butcho Vision big old haul video. Um, I got two things here to uh, dumb. Well, one's a one's a package, one's a box. Um, also, um, I put this in my last video, and I'm putting it in this video. I do have the white uh, slobs Bob slob or whatever slobs Bob uh, white final figure. I'm still looking for someone to do a paint job on this and I will pay you. Um, I could either mail you a money order check or I can send some PayPal money or whatever. Uh, but I want somebody that can take on this. Um, I would like to do a very horror theme, maybe like a zombie version with like a, like a green radioactive hamburger or something weird. Just You have creativity, I just like a horror theme is what I'm looking for in this. Somebody wants to take on this challenge, please message me in the comments below and I will um, get back to you and we can maybe work through. Hopefully we're friends on Facebook. I always encourage everybody to friend me. I'm just, uh, I will leave my link. Actually, I will leave my link for my Facebook below as well. And if you want to friend me on there, anyone's welcome to. Um, sorry for the noise there. If the noise is cutting in on this, I'm going to try and talk louder. Uh, of course, you know, today they're going to, uh, you know, take out some trees and limbs right in front of my apartment of course you know a bunch of assholes Ugh. so sick of living in a fucking apartment it's a bunch of shit as you can see today I'm rocking my new Friday the 13th hat uh, yeah I really like this hat it's actually fits pretty good I'm like uh, I watched Mike Tapp's video if you guys don't know who Mike Tapp is he's a pretty cool guy he's got a very similar personality to me very funny very honest, very straightforward. Mike Tap. Uh, uh, I think it's just try, just type in Mike Tap and search for Mike Tap, and you can find him. He's a new to YouTube, and he's trying to get some uh, listeners and or not listeners, but some viewers. And he's a pretty funny guy. Uh, and like he said, you know, none of this straight rim shit, none of this cocked off to the side. You wear it like this. This is how hats should be worn. None of that. You know what I mean? Stuff. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's get into Butcho Vision. Um, and I did, um, hold on, let me bust out my phone because I want to get everyone to go and um, friend Butch, um, but I can't remember his last name here. Let me, I liked his page. Um, uh, he's a very, very, I coming to find out Butch is just one guy. Um, let me see here. Um, well, anyway, I can't find it right now, but what I will do is I'll try and find his Facebook page. Come to find out, he had posted my last uh, Butcho Vision haul video and Johnny Tea's, and he's just one guy doing all this shit, all these pens, all this shit. Um, he's a tattoo artist. Um, he has done some conventions and Butch if you're watching man Believe me go to all the comic cons come out to Portland, Oregon go to the you know There's Rose City Comic Con coming up in September. I know that's early uh, Wizard World is in February. I guarantee you man in Portland, Oregon your shit will sell man get a booth at Comic Con Portland is where all the weirdos and artists are man your shit will sell like hotcakes I can guarantee it and I will promote the shit out of you. I like your stuff and I like what you're doing. Please do more, man. Make more vinyl figures. I, as fast as you can make the vinyl figures, I will be buying that shit up. Same with t-shirts. And if you make, yeah, make more fucking t-shirts, man. I will buy the shit out of your t-shirts. Um, in fact, thank you for at least including big fucking sizes. I got a 4X t-shirt, which I'll be showing off here. Thank you for carrying big sizes. Please, please start doing magnets. I will buy the shit out of magnets. Your pens are awesome, dude, but I just don't do pens. I uh, I tend to lose pens very easily. And if I have, like Giant Tails, he has them all over his jacket. But man, I guarantee you, I'm, I'm the guy, I'll end up losing all those fucking pens. And they're awesome. And I, you know, back when I was, you know, younger and had a fucking, you know, mohawk and green hair and was rocking the punk rock scene. Fuck, I'd have that shit all over my fucking jacket, man. I mean, I would have, but um, I'm almost 40 and I don't have barely any hair and I don't go to punk rock shows anymore because I'd probably break a fucking hip. 
But I do go to Comic Con Butch, so please, man, hit those Comic Cons and make more shit, man, because your shit is awesome. And everyone out there, go buy stuff from Butcho Vision. In fact, some of his stuff is selling out, man, you know. So uh, let's get to the first one. We got a little box here. I ordered, ordered a couple things. I ordered some stickers. And I did order another vinyl figure that I just had to have after I saw Johnny Taz's last video. Uh, Pre-cut this little thing. This little kitty's right here. He's being a little, being a needy baby, greedy baby. So he needs lots of attention. Um, I did order three stickers, so I'll start with those. Um, I, I am a huge, huge Bioshock fan. In fact, it's probably the only video game that I, I purchased at like, six o'clock at night came home plugged it in and then realized it was five in the morning um <laughs> the sun was coming up um i got sucked into this game and he did a little bioshock sticker i'd love to see this as a magnet I, i'm actually i'm going to turn this i'm gonna probably get i've got some of that hobby you know magnet stuff that you can just put on stick this on there and then cut it out and that's actually what i'm gonna do is, is turn this sticker into a magnet and I thought I, I just I just had to have this one uh, the next one of course because you know I'm a huge and god I'd love to see some vinyl figure shit of this um, if he mashed it up with some something else in pop culture or something um, I'm a huge huge fan of the house of a thousand corpses love how that you know you, you've heard me talk about house of a thousand corpses a million times I fucking love that movie so I got that sticker as well and then I just had to have this because I just thought it was hilarious. Um, and that is the uh, Bare Butt uh, Marge Simpson. Now, I know there's some other pop culture reference to this, but I'm not sure what it is because I don't keep up with the times. But I just, I, I just thought that one was hilarious. So um, I will be turning all three of these stickers here um, in, into uh, magnets is what I'm going to be doing with these. Okay, moving on. Um, oh, he did throw in some more free stuff, it looks like. Oh, a couple of... So we'll get to all the... Well, let's, let's pull this item out. The main item that I ordered. Um, he did throw in some free stuff again, which is awesome. Um, oh, okay, here we go. So he is on YouTube. Okay, so he has a channel. Here we go. Uh, Butcho Vision. I didn't even know he had a YouTube channel. Awesome. Look, kid, get that. Well, I guess you can play with that now. I don't care. Uh, he does have a Butcho Vision channel on YouTube. Um, so I definitely will be going. I did not know that, Butch. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel. Um, so I will be looking that up and then obviously go to his website. Um, yeah, guys, that's, I mean, he does cool shit, man. Very cool shit. Um, this is an advertisement for some sort of sports stuff. Sorry. Sorry, Butch, I don't do any sports stuff. But um, he did throw in the uh, another Jesus uh, uh, crust sticker, which I already had. That's fine. And then he threw in the Michael Simpson one, the Halloween one, that I didn't have, which is very cool. Uh, oops, there's a couple of pins here. I uh, will probably, if I do another giveaway, the, any of these doubles I'll get, they'll end up in, in giveaway boxes. So, um, here's kind of a rotten face type zombie-ish version of the misfits face it's, it's, yeah, that's pretty cool it's a little just a button button and then um, I think it's Krusty the Clown is like some weird psychotic I don't know so you guys can see that little button that's pretty cool and then this bag, this little baggie here has got, well, it looks like two pens in it. So, man, you know, and I know these pens are like around $8 a piece. So that's, you know, 
Okay, so he sent me a double of just his logo pin, and I've showed this off before, and that'll definitely end up in a giveaway box. Um, I'm not sure what the hell this is. Is this a sticker? I guess this is a really tiny, if you guys watch Rick and Morty, it's a really, really tiny, tiny sticker, but it's kind of puffy. I don't know what this, I don't actually know what this is. It kind of reminds me of like a shrinky dink. I'm not, yeah, Butch, if you're watching this video, I don't, I don't know what this is, man, but that, that's cool anyway. Um, so thanks for throwing in those extra items, Butch, but let's get to the main item. And of course, I had to get, um, this is the variant of the uh, Michael Simpson, and this is the um, Rob Zombie version. Um, here's the back of the box. Side. It's got a little pumpkin on top. I just love this stuff. I think his, his boxes are so great. Um, I just, I absolutely, as fast as he can put these vinyl figures out, I, I will absolutely buy the shit out of these things. Uh, this shit is so much better than Funko. Man, I hope somebody fucking loans you a shitload of money. You can just start a huge company and make fucking cool shit because there's no one doing this kind of shit out there and, and they definitely should be. Uh, oh man, this knife is all bloody. Really, look at the look at the side of the knife, guys. Yeah, look, it's all bloody. Really, really quality detail on this, guys. Really quality detail. Um, absolutely love this. Let's grab the. Uh, I've got the other one right up here. Let's put them side by side. Well, apparently, the knives do come out. I think because Johnny Tails was saying something about that. So there they are, guys. I've got the regular one and this. There is a, just a pure green, like iridescent, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it. Um, and I think there's another one, too. There's another variant. So these are the two I'm going to keep of these. I'm not going to buy the other ones. I think these were the two coolest ones. And I know Eric Mandel. Eric, Eric Mandel at Horror Man Cave. I know he teamed up with Butch to do 31 variants. Um, uh, one's like a clear orange, one's a clear brown that I saw, and one was something about there's gonna be popcorn in one. Um, I'm, I'd be interested in, in, in the looking into those. Um, I'd love to grab one of those variants um, from that. Um, so let, let's get on to the last item here. This is uh, a t-shirt that I got. Um, And then, of course, he did throw in another uh, Jesus crust card. So um, that'll also probably end up in a giveaway as well. And then uh, uh, he put in another another promo card for this. So there's, like I said, there's more of what he's doing. And then he also does some kind of higher-end jewelry stuff that's called uh, Death Mates. So... Um, Definitely go to his page, butchovision.com. He has lots and lots of product to sift through, ranging from the vinyl figures, stickers, patches, the pins is his main thing. He does in, like I said, stickers. What else does he have? And then t-shirts. He only has one t-shirt right now, um, and that is, of course, the Jesus Crust t-shirt. Let's see if I can get that better in there for you guys. Um, and this was on sale. It was in my size. Um, and it was 20 bucks, man. Uh, with like a $2.50 shipping. Um, let's make sure this definitely is the right size. Yeah, that's that's really great quality work. The t-shirt's really, really great. Um, it's got his logo on it. Um, and I'm very, very happy with this. I love... To see more of the I think 
I think if you did more of the t-shirts, I think, Butch, these, these things would sell. I, I would definitely be buying more of these. I know Johnny Tez would buy these. Um, I'd love to see the, uh, I think you have a sticker and the pen of the uh, Michael Simpson going like this. And then he's got the donut the, from the Simpsons around his body, this giant donut. I would love to see that on a t-shirt. I would love to see the Bioshock sticker. I would love to see any of your sticker designs on a t-shirt. I think that would be fucking amazing. Um, so yeah, guys, that is my Butcho Vision big old haul. Um, like I said, go to his site, order his stuff, guys, especially the vinyl figures. Um, and I know this stuff, This stuff will sell out really, really quick. I have a feeling once once the momentum gets going with these kinds of things, uh, you know, they, they sell out very, very quickly. You know, these, these oddities and these really great artists and stuff like this, this is the stuff that we're looking for. I'm, I mean, Funko is, is I, I, I watched one of Grumpy, I, I know a lot of you guys out there watch Grumpy Nerd and, and he was kind of saying, look, you know, Funko is pissing a lot of people off. Funko's starting to go downhill. I have bought very little Funko unless it's Star Wars, and I did buy the uh, Willy Wonka, uh, what is that, uh, the Violet, uh, Blueberry one. Uh, but other than that, I haven't bought a Funko in a while unless it's came in a box. Um, I think Funko is just... Funko is going into Beanie Baby territory where they're just mass producing the shit out of stuff lying about how much they're making on these limited runs or saying they're like you know uh i think there's just a lot of lies coming out of funko and it's fucking bullshit and it pisses me off um but like like grumpy nerd said we can't be pissed off about it we just have to stop buying funko and i really think that's the key here I know Johnny Tez has backed off of Funko. He's focusing on uh, NECA and Mezco. Um, for me, it's I'm looking for more of this kind of stuff. Butcho Vision, these weirder vinyl figures, more of this like mashups of horror and pop culture and real true fucking artist shit that there's a lot more thought put into it. Am I gonna stop buying Funko completely? No, I mean, they have some upcoming stuff I know they have Mystery Minis uh, Series 3 coming out, and there's probably at least six or seven of those I'll buy because I'm a huge horror fan. Um, and I know they're doing like Conan the Barbarian, um, and I'll probably pick up that, but that's way out there. But I looked at like their whole list of Funko coming out, and it's like none of it is anything I'm remotely fucking interested in. Um, I think it's gonna, I think what's gonna happen with Funko is it's gonna do exactly what Beanie Babies did. It's going to be really big for like 10 years and then the market's just gonna fucking plummet on it. Um, so that's why I've just backed off. You know, I've bought in Funko for a lot of reasons. Some of it, you know, highly collectible. Some of it I just fucking love, like the Big Trouble in Little China. I had to have all that, I'm a huge fan. I've never really seen any toys for it, so I bought it. Um, but for me, I'm looking for more vintage stuff, oddities like this stuff, people that are making true artistic shit. Um, and that's that's where I'm gonna go with my stuff. Um, as you know, I've co I've quit all my uh, subscription boxes, but horror block, and, and that's a by a month by month thing. Um, so, like I said, I've done different things on my channel. You know, um, I've done stuff collaborations with Man Boy Podcast. I've got other focuses. Um, I'm, in fact, I'm going to be doing a podcast for my other channel called The Process 101, uh, where I talk about weird things of the world and uh, conspiracy theories and uh a little more serious topics so um i'm going to focus a little more on that i've got in fact on the 19th i've got a podcast my first podcast for that um so look out for that too guys but that's it um definitely go check out butcho vision and uh buy some stuff from him so that's it guys later